Hello friends, in the previous video we have seen how to use tuples and some basics of tuples. In this video, let's focus on the next one, next set of objectives for the tuples which are How do we access tuples? I mean, how do we access elements in the tuples? In the tuple. Next one is how do we join or concatenate two tuples or more tuples? then multiply tuples then we will use some uh, special functions like indexing and counting let's see all these functions so we have seen in the previous video where we have declared a tuple one as you can see like tuple one has some names hopefully belgam and hopefully now let's try understanding how do we access it and just copy the same thing So instead of type, what I'll do is tuple. Say, suppose if I try printing within square braces, if I put zero, let's see what you get. That means your indexing is starting from the first element, which is at the position zero. So similarly, if I try putting print, tuple of 1 then belgam is printed print tuple if I put 2 again hubli is printed this kind of indexing is called as positive indexing right let's see Okay, sorry, I had forgotten to give this tuple one, tuple one, and tuple one. Now it has to print hopefully will come and hopefully. This kind of a indexing is called as positive indexing. Similarly, I can have negative indexing. Say suppose if I give print tuple of minus one then as so minus one when i say sorry again same mistake tuple one of minus one when i give it is again hopefully so when i say minus negative indexing starts from the last element so hopefully is the last element so it starts minus one minus two is belga and minus three is hopefully again right so remember positive indexing starts from zero negative indexing starts from the last element but with minus one okay so other things is i can say i will add few more elements here what i will do is i will join two tuples now okay i will say like tuple 6 is equal to i'll say tuple 1 plus Okay, right. So let's print triple six.
can see the same thing is repeated. The same thing is repeated. So now tuple six has tuple six has six elements. Zero, Hubli stands for zero indexing. One, two, three, four, and five. Right? It has total six elements in it. Right? So I have shown you now joining two tuples. So what I can do is I can multiply as well. I will declare tuple seven is equal to what I do is tuple six for multiplication I'll use star asterisk marks and into do when I do so print when I print tuple seven you can see right so the same thing tuple six is multiplied by two that means it will have now 12 elements in it it will have 12 elements in it okay so this is what we have seen with joining and multiplication similarly i will show you for now indexing i can say now i will take another variable y which is equal to tuple 7 dot index okay i will say 5 so through this index as a special function what i can say is at the fifth element what is the tuple it has so tuple 7 what is the fifth element in it let me print y Yeah. Okay. I have to give the element here. Sorry. I have to say what is there in that. At the fifth element. I mean, at the where is that element? Example, who believe if I say. Okay. So it is printing me zero, which means that who is at present indexing zero. Okay, similarly, I can use one more element to say like how many hoblies are present in the tuple. I will use the same thing, tuple 7 dot count. Hobli print it. There are eight hoblies in it. So similarly, you can type, you can print the range also. I'll show you that. I can say print range Anyhow, so I'll show you the uh, range function in the next video because it's already nine minutes. See you in the next video.